be able to welcome all of you here this morning. We're going to have a lot to talk about in the next few days and the next few years, uh, for that matter. So I want you to do something for yourselves before you get too far into what's going to be an incredibly busy day. So just take a minute to reflect on this. Your days of LSATs, online applications, why I am wonderful, personal statements, <laughs> or over. They're done. You never do them again. You've arrived. And we're delighted um, that, that you're here. So congratulations on that very first important achievement on your path to becoming a lawyer. Now, you probably will be able to guess that it's been you know, just a little while since I sat um, where you are sitting now. I remember a lot about that day. It was hot and it was humid. I had these new books, they looked really cool, but they were very heavy. All the teachers were really scary. And I looked around the room and I didn't know a single soul. But what I have no recollection of whatsoever is anything that the dean said. And so <laughs> when I kind of prepared to talk to you this morning, that was a bit disconcerting. But I knew that regardless whether you remember anything I say or anybody else says for the first few hours this morning, I do know this. I know that just like me, like the generations of lawyers who have preceded you and the generations of lawyers who will follow you, you will always remember this day, the first day of the first year of law school your first day on your own path to becoming a lawyer. So before I talk with you a little bit about the study of law, which uh, was my assignment for this morning, I want to tell you just a little bit about yourselves, your class. So in total, you consist of about 162 students, depending on whether everybody I was expecting came this morning. Um, in the three-year JD program, our regular JD program, about 50 of you started in the summer. You'll meet them a little bit later. They're not going to let you forget anytime soon that they have a couple of months on you. So just be prepared for that. Six of you are enrolled in our two-year JD program, which is a program we have for internationally trained lawyers. So they're a little bit ahead of you, too. You come from 77 colleges and universities in 23 states and the countries of Ecuador, Kenya, Cameroon, China, Eritrea, Italy, the Philippines, and South Korea. Just over 68% of you are Kansans and you represent 22 different counties in our state. You range from a mere youth, a prodigy of 21, to um, what we expect will be the maturity of 53. Your median age is 23. About, or just over 40% of you are women. 18% of you identify yourselves as ethnic minorities. 15 of you already have graduate degrees. Two of you are PhDs. Three of you are MBAs. Two of you have Masters of Science, and eight of you have Masters of Arts. Among you, you claim proficiency in 11 languages, including Italian, Chinese, Spanish, French, German, Arabic, Russian, Ukrainian, and Latin. Now, you have taught English as a second language here in the United States and abroad, but I don't count English in the 11 languages because I know that in the next you know, couple of weeks your teachers are going to cause you to question whether you really do understand <laughs> English as it is spoken and written uh, by lawyers. You are a multi-talented and an accomplished group. You are National Merit Scholars, members of Board Award and Golden Key, some of you more than one, 
claims a perfect 4.0 in your undergraduate years. You play the piano, the saxophone, the flute, and the bagpipes. You were already published, one of you in analytical chemistry. You report the news in print, on the radio, and on television. You were champion debaters. You were dancers, athletes, and coaches. You have awards in hurdles and taekwondo. You were certified in scuba diving. You run cross country. One of you rides a unicycle. You have played varsity rugby and football. You have coached swimming and soccer. And one of you has served as a captain of a collegiate tennis team. Some of you are the progeny of generations of lawyers, including several generations from KU Law. And we welcome you to the nation of Jayhawk lawyers. But others of you are like me. You were the first person in your family to finish high school. You were the first person to attend and graduate from college. And you were the first person to study, practice, and teach, perhaps, law. And it doesn't matter at all. What really matters is what you make of yourself in your time here and in your commitment to the law. That's what's going to, de to determine what kind of lawyer you become.